It's a new year and Zimbabwean strongman is preparing for his 91st birthday. This year's lavish celebrations will be held in a resort town of Victoria Falls. But the question among Zimbabweans is, will he or won't he choose to stay in office? There are rumours that he is battling ill health. Rumours Africa's oldest statement denies. In fact, he is preparing for more responsibilities. President Robert Mugabe assumes the AU chair at the end of the month. This, in addition to the Southern African Development Community SADC chair he took over last August. Analysts say he is not likely to give up power yet. What the government will do is try to relax its, its policies, particularly to do with indigenization, so that they uh, attract foreign direct investment. We are likely going to see government softening up, trying to uh, woo business into the country, but also, whereas we are not expecting President Robert Mugabe to, to end over power, I think we are likely going to see him uh, delegating more power to his vice president, particularly to Mnangagwa. Zimbabweans are losing confidence in the veteran ruler as the First Lady Grace Mugabe assumes greater political power. Um, he's old, he's tired, and his wife is in control. The country's economy also begins at an uncertain note. In the last 10 days, two banks have lost their licenses. There's not much of a difference compared to last year, but the government is still the same. And you can't expect investors to come and put any infrastructure in Zimbabwe. Because they don't have investor confidence. Government has ravaged the claims of an imminent retirement or succession plan. However, Information Minister Jonathan Moyo told local radio that should President Robert Mugabe choose to step down, the party could convene a Congress to appoint his successor as per the Constitution. Health